Hi, this is Ginger Cook, and I've got a fun painting to do for you today. Um, what I want to show you is the um, these are some uh, canvas, uh, real sheets of canvas. And when we have leftover paint like this, what we do is we'll just cover them. Well, John will do this for me. He will just cover them with whoever happens to be left over, okay? And then I will pick something. In this case, I picked just sort of a dark blue. And again, this is a Paramount uh, canvas. You can't... Uh, you know, the little canvas pads, there's a you know link below. This is what these are, you get them at Jerry's, and they're really fun for fast paintings. I thought I would show you how to just take a, we, I'm gonna get a traceable for this. Well, you can go to our Pinterest uh, board, this will be on our Pinterest board, and you can just go ahead and print this out and uh, print yourself out a black and white copy and just sort of trace it on the dog. Uh, just the outline, that's what I did, just traced it on using Sorel transfer paper. Um, which is this. We also have a link to that uh, affiliate link on our website. This is really good stuff. You can just, comes in all these different colors, like five different colors, and it's easy to transfer. You just put it down like carbon paper and transfer it on. The colors I'm using are cad yellow, medium, uh, thalo green, thalo blue, ultramarine blue, white, um, zinc white by mistake. I really thought I was using uh, titanium, um, magenta, which is quadrochrome magenta and cad red medium. Those are the colors. And this is just, I. this is an artist's dog, isn't it? The dog of an artist. And I was sort of inspired a little bit by a good friend of mine who has these kind of, of doggies. And I think he was really, really was cute and um, getting in the paint, right? So I hope you guys uh, like this and this ins are inspired by all these colors. And oh yeah, by the way, if you're watching this and I'm not here, chances are that uh, what's happened to me is I'm traveling. And so we'd very much appreciate you uh, subscribing to the channel and leaving fun comments. This would be nice. And sharing. Thank you. Okay, so I started with just a little dark canvas. Um, with the with the kind of a brief outline of the dog, which I used Sorel transfer paper to uh, transfer on. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I've got a few little paint colors out here to get us started. I've got ultramarine blue, thalo blue, magenta yellow, thalo green, and a little cad red medium and white. So those are the colors that we're going to be using. I'm currently using Holbein paints. I think I want a, a little bit of white that doesn't ha hasn't seen any green. Let's put a little bit of that rather yellow that hasn't seen any green. We're going to start with, um, we'll start with the yellow. We're just going to have fun with this, okay? This is the whole idea behind this dog is to just, we're going to have a lot of fun with this and uh, play a little bit with our backgrounds. Let's take a little bit of the ultramarine blue maybe, put, put down like this. This is a little glazy medium. I think I'm going to use that too. This is from, um, uh, a golden. It's called a, a brilliant liquid uh, glazing gloss or something. It's really nice for when you want to um, have uh, uh, your your colors stay wet longer. Here's a little thalo blue. Kind of put that with there like that. Now here's the trick. When you're doing something like that, change colors immediately, and you want them all to sort of melt into something else. And don't worry about getting the colors I'm using really doesn't matter at all. The whole thing is to, um, I know I've got, for instance, a dog's ear right here that's going to be darker, so I probably want a light color down next to him. So I'm just going to, you know, just kind of put that, and I could probably take a larger brush like this. This is just a soft, uh, soft um, angle, and I'm just going to come up like this and maybe pull this down like this. If you do it too much, you'll end up with one color. And the trick is, you don't want to do that. You want to have, you want the um, colors to all sort of blend, but on, on the other hand, you want them to um, be unique too. So let's, let's do some of that on the other side of the dog too. Let's just come up here, because again, his ears are dark, so I think I want something light. But then as I come over to this part of the uh, canvas. Let's see, here's a little bit of Stalo. It's kind of out of ultramarine blue already. Let's put a little bit out. Okay, so here's a little ultramarine blue. Um, gonna come on this side. That's pretty nice and brilliant here, like that. And let's see, a little bit of glazing medium and kind of blend these together. Have a little white 
There we go. Just, you don't have to get too crazy with it, but just this can be, you know, the whole, whole idea of this is, should be fun, okay? So we know we've got some white paws, so I'm going to do a little bit darker under here. Maybe a little bit of even purple color would be pretty under his uh, tummy here like that. And See, on this side, um, let's just uh, change brushes completely, and um, I'll use a yellow. Okay, I'm just going to say I want some yellow on this side, some brilliant yellow. Normally yellow only paints over white, but I may have to do a couple coats, but um, let's put a little white with it and see what happens. Uh, but this Holbein paint is so, the pigments are so strong that we can get away with that. So, I mean, I like that. So I, that yellow is going to be my light color. So I'm going to say that here's the top of his nose like this. It looks a little green, but that's okay. I'll change it. And here's here here here's the top and I know I've got a kind of a light foot. So that's you know, I'm going wherever there's a I'm going to say my yellows and oranges are going to be where my light colors are and where my darker colors are, we'll use something else, okay? So I'm just going to come up here like this and see so probably want a little bit of orange on that foot right over here. But then I'm creating that with just uh, magenta and um, uh, just a little bit of magenta, maybe a little cad red medium. You're coming up here like that. Okay, like this. And then this will be a dark ear. So I want something pretty light next to that. So maybe I'll do a little peach color. That'd be pretty. Uh, some sort of little pink peach color. So somebody's going to ask me, how do you decide the colors? I'm basically deciding the colors on um, whether I'm deciding my pinks and oranges and yellows are going to be where my whites would be or my lighter colors, okay? So let's take a little magenta now and white. Here, that makes a really pretty pink, doesn't it? Might come under here like this and just say, here's some light under here like this and maybe we'll do a purple we can do a purple by taking magenta in blue making kind of a purpley color don't want it that dark so let's take a little white to that here we go let's say maybe there's a little purple in here like that coming down here's the bottom of our dog the whole trick is if you were to make a black and white image of this you know how would that work for you okay so I need more white paint. I need, well, on something like this, you need some really clear white paint, okay? So you can kind of see what we're doing here, like that. Here's some white, um, and I'll probably want a little yellow here. Okay, so I'm going to just put a little yellow next to this purple, like that. Okay, so there's my, Oh, that's that's kind of cute. And then let's do a little bit of white up here, a little bit of white on top of this, because I want a lighter, brighter yellow. Remember, I told you that yellow kind of it, it'll layer for us, right? So we're going to come around here like this, and then maybe go into our oranges and say, here's our our little cheeks here. You know, these dogs are so funny. Their expression to me is so cute, right? Say like this. Just using little angle brushes, okay. And um, now let's see what else could we do. Well, um, kind of like I mean I'm kind of liking you know this, and I want some dark, something darker. Probably we got some blues here. Let's try some. Uh, let's try a little bit of red here for the ears. That's pretty. Right where the ears are, you know, connecting to our back spot here like that. That's a cat, kind of cad red medium. I'll do that over here too. Okay, and then um, how about some, um, let's do some purple. You know, I think I'll just get out some purple. Why not? Shall we do some purple? Let's just get out some purple. This, I'm, we're just, I'm making this up with you, right? We're making this up together. You're kind of seeing how I'm playing with this. I'm going to make this up. Here's a little purple and white. Uh, magenta and purple did pretty good too. That's dozening purple. So the reason I'm coming, I'm kind of coming around the eyes like this with a little bit of this purple is because maybe make this side a little pinker. I don't want them all the same. 
Um, but still, that's okay. Let's try that in a little phthalo green. How's that? Ooh, I'm out of phthalo green. But not for long. Here we go. Thalo green. Okay. So we'll say, we're going to say that's the other side of this dog right here like that. Here's the thalo green coming around this eye like that. Okay. And then maybe a little bit of white and blue. Let's see what that does for us. Uh, keep uh, painting his ear. And um, let's just do something like this. And how about some blue like this in here where his ear goes. And then as we keep painting over, we'll make it a little darker. We're going to do the same thing on the other side, okay? And maybe a little phthalo green and white with this. Let's put a little yellow with it. Let's just come up here like that. Green and red are complements, so we're just doing it like that. What do we mean by that? Well, here's a color wheel, so green is opposite of red on the color wheel, so if you kind of stick them together, people, you know, it's kind of tricky, can be. How about a little white with that green? How about let's put a little white down here? Let's say his ear down here is a little bit lighter. Okay. There we go. I'm just This is a matter of just sort of layering colors. Do you see what I'm saying? And then on this side, I think I want some... Uh, I think I want some blue right here, just a little shadow side of his face here, like that, maybe more white. I want it pretty light here. Okay, like that. All right, I like that. It's coming along, right? Um, these are all just, I think, very fun things to do. Maybe we want a little bit of this lighter color right here, kind of flatten it out and do that, something like that. Now, all right, so now what do we got? Doggy's looking cute. Um, let's keep going, right? Uh, let's see, I want a little bit more magenta, a little bit more magenta here, okay? Like this, right next to his eye, a little bit darker right there. So I still need to put the shadows, does that make sense? So wherever the dog had some shadows, and he had a little bit of, he had a little bit of purple shadow right here. There you go, so we're going to give him, we're going to do that, we're going to say his nose is purple. There's his nose. We're going to make that purple. I like that. And it's a little bit of white on top of the purple, like this. The top of the nose is going to do this. We're not going to get too crazy with it. There's the top of the nose. And then maybe we'll take a little bit of blue and white and something like this and just come on top of that, like, ooh, a little highlight. There we go, right? And let's see. Um, let's put a little highlight right here under his eye. Right like that, okay. So I'm uh, starting to look like a dog, yeah. He still has to, you know, this is the trick. He still has to look like a dog. You still have to have a background, but you still want to bring him out and have him look like a dog. But on the other hand, we want all these fun colors. So I think we could do a little orange and yellow on his feet, cad red medium and um, yellow. And let's say, let's just say, look, here's some part of his paws down here like that and uh, we don't see much of his paw here but we'll make that a little bit darker here okay so here we go a little bit darker next to this and here's a little bit now we're, we wanted to brighten up this color so here's our next layer of color this was over purple dark um, a dark color so that's not as bright so here's some cad cad red second um, second uh, application okay and that's going to be a little bit brighter. And uh, maybe I want a little bit of red under this eye here like that. Just a bit here like that. That's kind of cute. Um, yeah. I'm having fun. I don't know about you guys, but I'm having fun with this. You kind of see me. You see how I've been sort of designed this. Here's a little purple. Right next to here, he's got like a little... Um, what we call, uh, on people's faces, they, they very politely call it lines of expression. Don't you love that? Here's your line of expression. You're just basically getting wrinkles, but they're happy to tell you it's lines of expression. So, um, there we go. Lines of expression on our doggy. A little bit down here, too. 
it's just something here, a little bit of dark right down there. And uh, all right, so I think probably what has to happen next is we need a smaller brush. Um, what do I got? Something little for a little bit of detail now. Going to keep working on the on the nose, and that's that's um that's critical here. I'm going to start working on the nose and this. So I want I think I want some magenta underneath here. This part here, just down in here, I want a little magenta, kind of here. And then where's where did we say his um? Uh, uh, we started to say yellow it was kind of be our it was sort of our new white here. So let's um. Let's brighten some of this up. Kind of flatten this out. And as we come around, I think we'll do yellow up here on the top of his nose and just okay, I'm gonna get put a little more yellow here, right? Because that's his that's the key thing here. And I want a little bit of uh, yellow under each eye. Hold that. Okay. Now it looks like he's looking up. Isn't that cute? Okay. Now he's now he's now oh how darling, right? And um, let's see what else could we do? Oh yeah, we want the something really dark, like our purple color, is where his nostrils go right here, in here. That's his nostrils. So then we better figure out a pink or something to come around. Here's the top of this. And then where's the bot? It comes, let's see, I've got it just, I'm kind of looking at my reference. It comes, his nose comes in like this. Okay, there we go. All right, so there's his nose. Oh, he's getting cute. Oh, now I'm feeling sorry for him. Whatever's happened, he's not happy, and he's feeling gypped. Have you ever had that? You ever? My dog Tank used to do that. He'd get this look in his eye like, uh-uh, you can't be serious. Nobody would do that to anybody, and you've done that to me. Like, uh-uh. I, I love that. It's just, uh-uh. A little bit of blue under here like that. Yeah, okay. So, all right, so what else have we got? Oh, yeah, so let's do a little bit of... Uh, okay, I like the. I'm gonna do a little more white. All right, and that's kind of what color is that? That's pretty, kind of a pale, pale color. All right, so we think we want a little highlight on top of the nose like that. And uh, let's see, let's just put a little light under here like that under his eye. I want to see where that would be. Um, I'm just playing with his uh, his feet and everything. So um, what do we got here? Um, I want a little shadow right here. I want this lighter. So we're going to change this now that I've seen this. What can I do? Well, here's yellow. I need to change that, but right not right, right this second. So I've got a little yellow here. I want to make sure that I've got his jowl out like this. And... Uh, Okay, now, now we've got that expression going a little more. And uh, let's take a little orange and put a little bit of little freckles on his nose. Okay, that's cute. Um, this could be brighter. So what can we do with that? Um, I'm thinking about how I want it. The contrast between here and here isn't enough. So could I take some white, maybe phthalo green, and some whites. Is that mixing white? I, I wonder if that's mixing white. I'm not getting, that doesn't feel like titanium. I wonder if I put out the wrong white. So it sure feels like I did. That's zinc white. Let me just hide that because I think I got the wrong white out, you guys. Pretty sure I didn't put out titanium, okay? So I'm um, pretty sure I didn't put out titanium, but we're gonna, here's some white, okay? And uh, Here's my little clock going again. All right, I think I really, uh, there we go. I, you know what? I think I was having zinc white this whole time. All right, well, if I wasn't, it sure feels like I was, right? So um, let's see, where was I going with this? Oh yeah, some white, white and phthalo green. <gasps> That's the color I want. 
See, I, I need enough light to contrast next to this ear where you where it shows up next to his head and the same thing here I want this lighter enough where this shows through and this is where all the layers can kind of come in and you can decide later where you want to lighten something and darken something and uh, where could I like that light color so where could we put that um, all right so let me see the picture of my little animali here I think I could lighten it up right here on the side of his face, just a couple, you know, not too crazy. How about something light over the top of his eye like this? On each side of his eye, there we go. Okay, that's good, yeah. And, uh, uh, let's lighten it up right there. Okay, there we go, a little bit of light right there coming along. I love these paintings where people always say, how do you know how to do this? I'm really just going off of the light and darks, okay, of my picture, all right, of, and, my, and I'm going off the light and darks. I'm not, and I'm, all I'm doing now is just um, um, pulling the, you know, pulling whatever would be lights and darks here. I think I want this a little darker under here, so I've got a little red going here. Um, I think I lost some of my ear here. He comes out. Let me just put some more red out, out of that color. Okay, this is cad red. And I think I lost this ear comes out. I'm looking at that. I somehow, here's my head and somehow my ear comes out like this. And then I just feel like I don't. I, I, I lost this part of it, so I'm going to just, when I traced it on, I didn't quite get it right. Okay, so there we go. So there's my my red, and then I'm going to make sure that um, I've got, this is my other ear here. I'm going to just add some red to that to distinguish that from, uh, I guess this is, well, this is still his ear right here. So we'll just do that like that, and this is still his ear. Um, there, okay, so I've still got some ear there, so kind of outlining that, and, um, let's see, put a little bit of brighter red, look at, look at the difference when you, when you add, when you start changing colors, right, it makes such a difference, um, just the color here and there can make a difference, I promise you. Now, I want something a little bit lighter up here on his head. So what could I put? Um, how about a light phthalo blue? Well, we got phthalo blue, so it can't be that. We could do a really light, pretty green. How about that? Let's do that. Okay, a little bit of bright green right up here like this. So here's the top of our dog. And we're saying there's a light green here like this. And it's going to come this way. Okay. So everything's about lights and darks. A um, little bit of red right there. Okay. And at some point, you know, you're going to, it's important to dry the uh, colors because red and green are complements. And, and so if you try to do a, um, wet green and wet red you just you're not going to have good colors anymore so all right I like that all right so I want, I want something bright right here right under here under his chin here it doesn't really matter I'm going to pick a light green for that and uh, um, I'm going to put a little light green right there under his foot like that and here, how about the top of his foot? Top of this foot needs to go here like this. Kind of figure out that's his toe. Okay, and then we've got... Um, all right, now where I am. Oh, he's looking so cute, isn't he? Um, let's take a little bit of purple here and get those eyeballs round. You want these eyeballs balls round, okay? I may do a Posca pen for those because I think that would uh, work better. I'm going to just say here's a dark up here like that, just sort of giving him 
some eyebrows, okay? And a uh, little bit of dark right there. So all, all this is great fun. And I mean, I think it's kind of neat. And say, so let's just pull his nose around like this. So it's rounder, coming down under here like this. Here's nose. So that we're doing pretty much the same thing in purple. We're not trying to get too clever with this. Here's a little purple that we're going to use a little bit as an outline. Like here and here. Put a little dark purple here. Make that an outline. And um, uh, so if I look at this now, I'm going, ah, so far so good. This is sort of a big kind of dark area. What could we do with that? What if we did some light here? Okay, I'm kind of liking that. All right. Now what? All right, so let's play with this for a little bit. Um, we haven't done a lot of white, but we sure can. And here's some, we, like I say, we haven't done a lot of white, but we could do just a bit of white on his nose. See, and that's going to kind of um, just a bit there. Just, you know, a few little white highlights in a couple places, not too much, right? And we've got him, um, here's the top of his foot here, like that. You can say there's the top of his foot. And uh, uh, I want something light here, but not that. So let's try a little white and yellow. That's probably why my yellow wasn't that bright. Well, I made a light green, but that's all right too. Remember we talked about wanting something kind of light right there. So the more, I, you know, the more we do this, you know, the more colors I add. Now, this feels a little dark right here on the, this feels a little dark right here on the ear, okay? Um, I, it could be a lighter part of the ear, you know, as I'm looking at it. So I can get that to happen with um, I'm making a bright orange there. Okay. Um, doing a little bit of bright orange here like that. Let's see what happens if we do a bright orange right up here. And orange and turquoise happen to be complements, so when you do that, it, um, it, it can be very effective. In other words, that those these two colors are just splendid next to each other. So there's the, my light orange. And, uh, and I think I want that over here too, see? And just kind of changes. It's a little bit different than the red, right? Definitely diff different. Put some more yellow in it. So there's my little patch of, of orange, right? And so the, these are the kinds of things that, you know, you can do maybe right here too. Just, you know, you start filling in with colors and then you start putting, you start putting the colors where you want them, okay? And I'm kind of in the tip of this. There you go. There's the tip of that. Okay. The tip of that ear. Um, let's see. Back to the red. Here's another bit of red here. Now this is my third coat of red. And it needed it. Do you see that? It's my third coat of red. And, and that makes, I promise you, that makes a difference. So I want a little bit of... Um, just a little bit of red under that eye. This one, like that. So, this is already, I'm, I'm feeling like we've already got, you know, a wonderful little dog here without having to do much. And so what I'm going to do now is just dry him and then finish him up. What do you guys think? This is Ginger Cook, and I'd like to invite you to learn about personal art coaching. This is where members of our academy can send me their artwork and get, it's like having an artist in, you know, sitting in your studio right over your shoulder telling you how you can improve your painting. How cool is that? So if you want to know more about it, check out our website at gingercooklive.gallery. See where personal art coaching can be a benefit for you and help you improve yourself as an artist and really expand your painting skills in acrylic painting. Thanks.
Okay, so now what I want to do now is take my tape. I want you to imagine that he has like a tiny little paintbrush going through his mouth. Some sort of little teeny, little tiny paintbrush going through here like this, right? This, that's what that's where I'm going to put that's that's what I've decided to put in right so it sort of it sort of starts off each jowl right so where it's going to be is um, it's going to be at this angle through here like this and then the, he'll, he'll be the brush right like that okay so what I will do is you know put that in I love these all these colorful. If you haven't seen the colorful lion yet, oh, we've got that's really fun to do too. You know, there's just you can experiment. You know, just try. You know, just play with the values a little bit. Here's some artist tape. I'm going to go across like this. Okay, so this is where this has to come out. And if you'll notice that paintbrushes are tapered, they're a little wider at the at the end where the brush is in the, the metal part than they are here. So you, when you put this on, you've got to remember that we're tapering this just slightly like that. Okay. Let's pull that up. Notice I'm pulling the paint like this. I'm pulling it with both hands and kind of just deciding where I want to set it down. Okay, like that. Now, it's your fingernail or something sharp like this and just Burnish it down. Okay, now it's coming out. Did I get this in the right spot? I might not have. And the reason we like artist tape is it still leaves the paint where you want it. It's got to come out right here. So I didn't quite get it in the right spot. So I needed to. I need to do here and here. Huh? It's all right. That's why we're doing the tape, right? Okay, it would have been better if I'd marked it in better, but I didn't, so that's okay. So here we go. Narrow, and we said wider, right? That's what we said? Okay, so that's what we said, and that's a little too narrow. I'm not trying to be picky, but that's just a little too narrow. Here we go, like about like yay. John said his dad always said about like yay. Okay, so we've got to stop it here and here, okay? So make mark it on your, don't go crazy on me, mark it where you've got to stop it. Okay, so I'm going to take um, some bright green, you know, maybe some yellow and blue, the yellow, yellow and the yellow blue. And we could dark, that's my dark green toothbrush, uh, paintbrush right here. So remember stopping it right there. So here we go. And then over here. It's coming through there. I'm going to put a little bit more yellow and white with this. Coming through here like this. This is my paintbrush here. Now what happens is it's got the, the silver part of it, right? Which is what we're going to say is right th like this. And then the rest of this will be brush. I like that. I can do that. Maybe I'll have a little red tip on the end. Here you I know to really play in Russian roulette with the green here by doing that, but there I'm gonna say that's what I that's my paintbrush, okay? So now I'm gonna just fill up the tape and the same thing here and dry it. Okay, see there we go. Cute, right? Gonna dry it and uh, just take a second and dry that. Hi, this is Ginger Cook. If you're enjoying this uh, video on YouTube, then perhaps you might want to experience what it would be like to have me look at your painting and make some fabulous comments or even some suggestions. Maybe some of the videos that we put up are not totally beginner on YouTube and you might feel like they're a little out of your depth. If, or maybe you just like some advice on how you could make what you've painted, which you think is great, even better. And how you get that to happen and how I can see your artwork what is to get take advantage of our personal art coaching for a month. Try us for a month 
on our website, gingercooklive.gallery, where we take personal art coaching to the next level with video art coaching. And you can hear more about it on our website. Okay. So far, so good. Everybody's with me. Okay. Now let's take a little bit of yellow and uh, come up here on the top of this using our just little angle brush. Pull some yellow down here like this. We're saying that's the top of the There we go, like this. Okay, so it's like kind of darker underneath. Yeah, so far so good. And then, you know, when you talk about paint brushes, they're kind of fun. Mine are always angle brushes, but I like brushes that are more shaped like, um, you know, for something like this, I want a brush that's shaped more like this, right? That's got more of a rounded shape to it. So um, now we got to think about what color we want coming off the brush. And I think what I want is a really bright blue. So maybe ultramarine blue and white would be a good one. Really, really bright blue. And I'm gonna just come this way with the brush like this, okay? And uh, let's put some more paint on it. Okay. Oh, awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm already thinking him, him's very cute, aren't you guys? Very cute. And I would say, where else could I put this color? Maybe I'll put it right down here, this lighter blue. Okay. Um, now what? Oh, yeah, this is, this. I'm having fun with this. This is really cute. Oh, yeah, I said I'd do something with a Posca pen. These are really good because they're, you can do some very fine lines with this and not get too crazy with it, right? So I, I know that, for instance, we just said we wanted a kind of yellow under his eyes coming around like this. And I can really get that. Now look, I got my hand in that, because I. but actually this was supposed to drip anyway, so maybe that would have been a good time to have dripped the paint off the brush. Mm -hmm. Yes and yes. And maybe we want some paint dripping from here too down. That's fun, right? Okay. Great fun. All right. So, so far so good. Now, what can we do? Well, we could do a... I don't have a big leeway in the Posca pens as far as the different ones I have in this room. I've got some... This is a, that's a brand new one. I hate to use it. What's this one? I, I've had these forever. I like them so much. We have a link on our website on, on where to get them on Amazon, and, you know. Um, and let's see. Let's just do this, all right? So we're going to come up here like this put the little light up there in his eyes like what 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 say you i just what do you want right okay i've got a good friend who has a dog has some dogs like this and they really we we do pri i do private lessons with her and what happens is is that the dogs come in are always wanting to be underfoot i mean this is exactly what they do this is their modus operandi for sure and that's what they like to do. They like to come in and um, just mess with whatever we're doing. They want to do it, right? So, um, it's a fine point Posca pen. Um, 
I don't need to do too much more to this. I think I think we're I think I would pretty much I could have outlined it with a little black, but I think um, the dark is is pretty good. I kind of like it just the way it is. I think if I did anything else. I'm just going to get my hands all over the paint here. I mean, for a fun little picture like this, I think this is uh, this is fun to do. I like him. Um, let me just clean my hands. I've got these crazy. These are um, tub of towels. You've seen us give these away on the show. I got a big jar of them. You can get them at the hardware store, or Home Depot, places like that. We have a link on our website to Amazon if you'd like to come find out our links and also on our Facebook page and on Pinterest. If you want to know where I'm buying and getting stuff and the deals on stuff, my friend Judy Guitar went on my Pinterest page and put links to everything. Links to every YouTube lesson. You just go onto Pinterest Ginger Cook Live on Pinterest and you look at the YouTube lessons and she's got a link to everything. So you think, I want to wonder what, I mean, you know, when you have over 300 lessons on your website and over 300 different ones on YouTube, there's a lot of, there can be a lot of confusion, but not the way Judy did it. So, um, uh, absolutely not. So this is, um, she made links and uh, also we have a, you know, products I like and there's links to that. So we appreciate you using our product links a lot. It doesn't cost you anymore, but, um, sometimes it helps offset the cost of some of our materials. I mean, it takes, you know, you know, two or three cents here and there, but it all adds up. So we appreciate the help too. Now I was going to take this off of here and, um, uh, just put it on here like this. Where, 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 where is I going to do that with? Where's my papers? Yeah, here's a clean paper. Here, here we go. What do you guys think? Did we get it? Um, you know, I mean, I think, I think we, um, I think we've got it. You guys, don't you? I mean, I'm going to just sign it and call it done. I think we had a good time without it. Um, I hope you did. Let's see. We're just going to do something like that, right? Just to kind of make it. And I'm just going to sign it cook right here. So um, that's my painting. I hope you guys like it. If you're watching this, a good chance we're traveling. So uh, please uh, uh, sign up for our website. Here's a little bit of brighter red here right there. I like that too. Just a little brighter red right there. There you go. Got, had to just do it. Sorry. I could probably paint on this another little bit, but I think I think I've I've conveyed what I want to convey with the dog. I think we've got the expression of the dog. I think we've got that, and um, so we'll we'll just call it uh, we'll just call it done, you guys. Thanks for watching, and if you um, check us out on um, Pinterest and on the links are below. All right, check us out and subscribe to the channel if you haven't.